Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up Strava. It's a free app. I'm doing this on an iPhone, but it's very similar on Android devices as well. So it looks like this orange uh, icon. If you type in Strava into your search on your App Store or Google Play, it will come up. There is a pay version as well, but you just really need the free version. Okay, so let's go into that app. Okay, so I've logged in already, uh, but I haven't set this account up yet. So I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing to do is ignore the subscribe to Strava. Uh, if you have a GPS watch, you can connect it to that. Uh, you can find friends via social media, it will link to those. But really, I want to show you how to set it up for free and how to set your privacy settings. So let's go to privacy settings. So. Your profile page if you want to be complete uh, just to be private just click followers so only those who you want to follow you can see your workouts okay go to activities and again if you want to be private you can even click only you so only you can see those so you can have it completely set so nobody sees your uh, activities except for you let's just click followers for now group activities so we're going to set up a, P a group for you in PE so we want uh, in that group uh, Everybody within that group can see you or you can choose just your followers in that group as well So just the people who you already follow who are already in that group They they'll be able to see you. Okay This flybys is definitely worth for you setting to nobody flybys are simply uh, people who you you run near or your paths cross while you're on an activity you can see where they have run as well. But I think for you, I would click nobody to see flybys. Okay. Go back to privacy controls. Okay. Privacy zones. Now, a privacy zone is an area on the maps that is kind of goes dark. Not dark, but it gives you a different start and finish point so nobody knows where you live. So if you want to add a privacy zone, it then tells you how far you can set that. We're going to leave it at one eighth of, uh, of a mile. So that's the privacy zone set. And you type in your address into there. I'm going to leave that for now. Okay, so you type your address in there. And then it's one eighth of a mile from that address. Okay. Met Metro and heat map. So again, if you want to be more private, click heat map off to be private. And this last one, we just check. I remember seeing this before. So it just talks about your privacy and gives you uh, more information about privacy. Okay, but I've, what I've done on here is pretty much set that to only people who you allow to follow can see your workouts. Okay, so let's go back. We can set other things up as well. So top current membership, you want to make sure that's set to free. You can pay a monthly subscription, but for the basic, you really only need that set to free. Um, you've got email settings, application settings. I would set your measurement to kilometers, because some of the things we're gonna do is in kilometers, so it's there on unit of measurement. Let's click it so it comes up kilometers. This one here, default highlight image, so on your page when you've done an activity, you can either have it set to a map as your first picture or a photo. I'm gonna set this one to a map. Feed ordering. Okay, I'm gonna set this to latest activities. The last activity of someone I saw goes first. Okay, beacon. This is a safety feature, but it's not on the free trial. It allows somebody to find you if you're on an exercise, particularly for cyclists who maybe, if they had an accident, someone could find them from their Strava details. But you, if, if you're set to free, that's not an option privacy we've done whether we don't need contacts that will just help you find people if you want to find other Strava users and push notifications are just like 
think notifications over what's happened so that's up to you whether you use that bit or not okay so that's that bit set there are some other things you can set up i'll show you some more advanced so for the next bit if you click explore let's say record okay uh so allow, allow drives to use your, your location i'm going to say allow what you are using the app 